Good evening. It's been more than 24 hours since a young boy was shot in a vehicle in the Fulwell neighborhood of Minneapolis. Tonight, he's in critical condition at North Memorial Hospital, where he's been since Friday afternoon. Hello there, I'm Karen Scullin. The focus now is on prayer for his healing as concern continues over rising gun violence in the city. Sarah Danik is live in Minneapolis tonight with the story. Sarah? Yeah, Karen, today two different prayer vigils were held, one outside of the hospital and one in Minneapolis, really to show strength and numbers in the community and to show support for this family. Prayers for healing and survival as a 10 year old boy fights for his life. Really, just another tragedy, like, cause, and like a tragedy that shouldn't that shouldn't be that shouldn't be happening at all. Family and the community coming together in Minneapolis tonight, near where the child was shot Friday afternoon. We won't solve it if we ignore it. So we're gonna have to get active and get actively involved in the lives of other people. Minneapolis police say the shooting happened around 2 p.m. The boy was inside a vehicle when he was hit. It's not clear who was involved and where the shots came from. But he was badly injured and was taken immediately to the hospital. The family, you know, that I've known the father since he was a baby, uh, to see what they're going through is, is tough. An earlier prayer service was held Saturday outside North Memorial Hospital, where the family tells me he's had surgery and is in critical condition. As the little boy fights for his life, there is rising concern about violent crime in this city including homicides. Numbers from the Minneapolis Police Department show that at this time of year in 2019, there were six homicides. In 2020, 12 homicides by May 1st, and this year, already 24 people killed. While the department isn't able to provide details on how many of those deaths are from shootings, those on the ground tell us the tragedies are too many. When these times really do come, it's really important for us to be out here, show our face, know that like, we, we're here for the community and that we're working towards something better than this. And police tell me today still no arrests have been made in this case. If anybody has any information, call Crime Stoppers. We are live tonight in Minneapolis. Sarah Danik, Fox 9.